It's easier than you might think. Teaching your dog to love his crate. And I mean love his crate. Sure, if you shove him in there and you slam the door, he might freak out. You might freak out too. It's a little scary in there. The smart way to do crate training? Let your dog set the pace. When he goes in, he'll be- Wait a minute, that's a bird. Well, yeah, animal training all basically works the same way. And my friend Peter Clark here is teaching that bird that going inside that crate is cool. And the most important part, it's all up to him. If he needs to get out, he's welcome to turn around and leave. Well, um, we, we want him in here, right? Well, let's start by teaching our dog that this is the cool place to be. I'm feeding Stewie little pieces of his dog food through the back slats of the crate, and he's learning this is where all the good stuff happens. It's exactly what my friend Peta was doing with that bird, except she was feeding the bird little pieces of mouse. Once your dog is really comfortable coming and going at his own pace and figuring out this is where all the good stuff happens, then you can start thinking about making this a reward zone, a mid to long term place of total awesomeness for your dog. That's where the stuffed Kong toy comes into play. Stewie ate all of his meals three times a day in his crate out of a Kong toy for three months. Oh, and you can take it much further, like in this video called Crate Games. These dogs are full speed crazy about their crates. Crate training is super smart and very useful. It's the industry standard, of course, for transporting dogs on planes. It's also the safest way to transport your dog in your car. Stewie has a smaller crate that I strap into the back seat of the car. And if you have an SUV, there are anchor points in the back where you can strap down the crate and keep it secure. Don't put it on the roof, though. For the Michaels Dogs TV Dog Blog, I'm Michael Baugh.